I think a lot of women, especially, kind of want to own their own business. And, and when I ended up in a small town, you don't have a lot of options of what you're going to do. And I always did want to have my own business. So my sister and I actually started in. We started probably around 81, just kind of thinking, collecting things. And country was extremely big. Uh, primitive country um, and that's how we started and to think that we went from country to evolved into the somewhat the sophistication the store has today it, that's been a real journey it's it's been a journey to watch watch so many trends come and go and um, to watch companies come and go since 2007 to watch um, the fact that the cost of raw materials increase things so dramatically that we just had to stop carrying them because they were just, they had outpriced themselves. So I've, I always, you know, I pride myself on tradition and that tradition will stand the test of time. Um, I must admit, after I go to market and I see the very minimalistic look and um, I come back and I think, oh, I'd love to have that. You know, I'd like to be able to do that. It's not the nature of my home. And, and I keep saying, you know, and plus everything will come full circle. You know, we will, for instance, you see a lot of silver now because brass isn't as popular. Brass is starting to evolve back. So it, it will come full circle. So I'm just kind of playing the waiting game. But um, pretty much the store, I have to buy things that I think I like, I think will be an exceptional gift, um, will be, but I try to be very practical about it. I try to try to find the best value. Uh, it's very difficult to find lamps right now. I've been to the market for probably the last three years looking for new lamps and I really haven't come home with much. So um, there's challenges, but yes, I would say the store is a reflection of me. The whole nature of retailing has changed dramatically. So we adjusted somewhat. We, it, was, it was very nice to be able to start an e-commerce website. Um, it sounds like an easy fix. It's another business entirely. Um, you have to be aware of keywords, bidding strategies, phrase matches, broad matches, negative matches things that I just had really no concept of what it was. And so that's been an education in itself. But on the other hand, it's been a, a, a nice lifeline. We have, um, we only specialize in needlepoint pillows on our website. We have sent them to Hollywood stars. We have sent them to NBC studios. We have sent them to George Bush's Texas ranch. Um, can't tell you how many people know me on a first name basis, they will call up and they'll say, or when Sharon was working with us, you know, Elaine or Sharon, you know, I've ordered pillows from you before. And say, oh yes, yes, I know, I know. So um, I've had people invite me to come to their home in Minnesota. Had a, a client the other day who she signed her email, your friend in Alabama. So it's, it, it can be a touchy feely situation. Not always, some, some people just order. I never, never talk to them but it's also been a good lifeline for us. And I think you have to realize that you're gonna to have to have an extension to your business. Well, I've had many conversations with Chris Serino and I have the utmost confidence that Chris will be an excellent, excellent mayor. He needs time. He needs time and he needs a budget. Um, I've emphasized to him several things. One, what we do, let's do well. And I think he's a player on that. Let's not just run out, even though we could use some quick fixes. But if, for instance, the lighting at Christmas, I mean, we know that, it's ver that LED lighting has changed, um, but we haven't. The bulbs are, are pale yellow and they're not attractive. But yet on the other hand, Let's let's do this well. Let's uh, let's let's see if we can't eventually, maybe someday, wrap the trees and leave them permanently 
wrapped and turn them on for down rigging, turn them on for graduation, turn them on for First Friday so that we have an, a spectacular event. We look good. Um, I also think we need to have energy. I don't think we can continue to do the same things and think we're going to attract new people. Uh, it, our children all have handhelds. They, everybody is hooked up. They want things that have energy and excitement to them, even though we all love an old-fashioned Christmas parade. But let's do, let's do other things, and I think Chris has a vision for that. may not happen this year, but it, he brings that same enthusiasm that Sultana has brought to Chestertown and the creativity of ideas. Realize everything is in place here in this town. We have a beautiful historic town. We have a wide veranda to go down our main street. We have the river. We have a small outstanding college. We have a hospital. We have it all. We just need to kind of redirect some of our energies and say, we can't do everything the same. We have to stop and evaluate and say, what can we bring new that'll bring in new people? And I think, you know, one good idea sometimes breeds three more good ideas. And that's, we've just got to take that giant step and say, oh, whoa, yeah, that looks good. Now let's do this. And um, I, I think it'll happen with Chris. I truly think it'll happen. Um, we have a great town. I don't want to live anywhere else. As I often say to customers or people who come in, this is the way you want the world to be. What I'd say to people, first of all, thank you. Um, thanks for the support. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the compliments. Um, it's been a great run. Um, what I just would say to folks, you know, these little stores downtown, these are the stores that you come to, your organizations come to, you ask us to support you. Think of us. It's very easy to do free shipping and to be on the internet. But how often have you been disappointed? It's not exactly what you wanted. Yeah, look at us first. It's amazing the products that are down here. Give us, give us, give us, give us the, your first glance.